तो बच्चों आज जो क्वेश्चन हम लेके आए हैं ये देखा सबने होगा है ना लेकिन आज तक किसी को नहीं है ऐसा मैं क्यों कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि इस क्वेश्चन को सौ में से केवल बारह बच्चों ने सही किया है ठीक है तो पहले आप क्वेश्चन पढ़िए आपके सामने ये क्वेश्चन है आई होप कि आपने क्वेश्चन पढ़ लिया होगा और समझ लिया होगा चलिए मैं आपको एक हिंट देता हूँ एक ब्लॉक है उसको हम वाल के अगेंस्ट हमें टिका के रखना है ठीक है मतलब वो इक्लोवेरियम में हो नीचे ना है है ना तो अब आप सोच रहे होंगे कि क्वेश्चन में मेंशन नहीं है बस मेंशन है कि कितना मिनिमम फोर्स लगाए ठीक है तो यही रुकना है आपको सोचना है फोर्स की डायरेक्शन के बारे में किस डायरेक्शन में हम फोर्स लगाए हमारा फ्रिक्शन मैक्सिमम हो जाए है ना फ्रिक्शन मैक्सिमम होगा तभी फोर्स मिनिमम होगा चलिए आप करिए इसे So let's say we apply force at some angle with respect to the horizontal. Call this as theta, and the force is F in magnitude, and it is like we figured out. It should be uh, slightly inclined up at some angle theta. We don't know it at what theta the force would be maximum. One thing, if you are not following intuitively that the force has to be applied, you are saying, why? How do you know that this is the best strategy? I think this horizontal force is the best strategy. well we are not ruling that out because theta can after we work it out it maths might throw up our throw it has all provisions of throwing our way that theta is zero so the previous approach idea is not lost it is part of this this is more general idea so you say begin by saying let's apply a force at an angle theta about the horizontal now let's resolve this into two components this is f cos theta Directly pressing against the wall, and F sine theta in the vertically upward direction, directly fighting the force of mg. Now, of course, this is gone. The baby line I have drawn here across the force F basically uh, tells you that this force is gone, and in its place there are two components. Okay, so because of F cos theta, which is the normal reaction, wall applies as much force multiplied by the value of mu. And that's the maximum friction that will be acting upward direction. So how much is that? That is three by four is the value of mu, and normal reaction is F cos theta. So this is the value of maximum value of friction. I'm writing maximum value of friction because I want to apply minimum force, meaning friction must be working at its maximum in order to stop it. So this we have written mu into n, which is the maximum value. And add to it f sine theta, which is directly up. So this should handle the gravitational force down. Mg m is three, g is ten, so that is thirty newtons. Next, let's compute the value of f from here. You want the minimum force? So how much is f? F is thirty divided by three by four cos theta multiplied sorry plus sine theta. Now, if you know one thing. That would be very nice, which is anything like any expression which is a cos theta, like this one in the denominator, plus b sine theta, meaning something multiplying cos theta and something multiplying sine theta. Whenever you have such a structure, it so turns out that its maximum value, so max, this means maximum value of this is a square plus b square under root. You can figure that out by using calculus. Or by using the ideas of trigonometry. So, if you know this, the maximum value of this would be now. Whenever the denominator will become maximum, so if you choose such a theta that denominator becomes maximum, then the overall calculation and force F will be minimized. That's what you want. So, 30 divided by now. What's the maximum value as per this of the denominator? 3 by 4 whole square plus One square under root. Now, within the square root sign, let's see what's going on. Three square plus in the this climbs up plus four square. That's five square by four square, and the square root of that. So in the denominator, I've got five by four after taking the square root. So it flips to the numerator as four by five. So I get four by five into thirty newtons. So that's the force that I have to apply, right? So, well, it's the fourth option. 
तो आप लोगों ने क्वेश्चन देखा होगा और कितने से गलतियां हुई ये भी समझ में आया होगा तो जो मॉरल इस क्वेश्चन का जो हमने इससे लर्न किया लर्न ये किया कि जब भी आपको क्वेश्चन में कोई ऐसी वेक्टर की इंफॉर्मेशन दे रहा है जिसमें डायरेक्शन नहीं है और वो कोई रिजल्ट मांग रहा है मैक्सिमम या मिनिमम का तो आपको जनरल वे में सोचना है है ना कि हमारा फोर्स किसी एंगल पे भी लग सकता है उसका कंपोनेंट कौन सा कंपोनेंट आएगा जो फ्रिक्शन को बढ़ा सकता है ठीक है बच्चों 